right, so we'll go ahead and get started with drive mechanisms. Uh, we're we're kind of on the tail end of some of the, the calculation heavy portions of the class. Um, you know, a, a lot of the remaining material, especially for your test, is going to be a lot more theory driven than than calculational. So we, we do have some sections on EOR and well testing and, and simulation and some very important topics, but a lot of them are definitely more theory based as far as the exam goes. So uh, we'll probably go fairly quickly through them. We'll obviously spend enough time going over the concepts that everyone understands, but uh, we probably won't spend a ton of time hammering out well testing questions or simulation questions because the, the fact of the matter is those questions are just too complicated to really be administered in an exam like this. So primarily you're going to be looking at, at theory questions. So just kind of keep that in mind as we're as we're running through here. If it seems like I'm kind of running running through some of the proofs or some of the some of the calculations, it's because you know, quite frankly you're you're not going to be asked any questions on them. If anything it's just it's theory based. So so drive mechanisms uh, you know, the recovery of hydrocarbons from oil and gas reservoirs happen in several stages. Uh, most everyone's familiar with primary and secondary recovery, and then the third is tertiary recovery, is also known as, uh, you know, some synonyms are enhanced oil recovery. So primary recovery is the natural energy of the reservoir that is used to transport your hydrocarbons into your well bore, and there's, there's five there's really four main primary recovery drive mechanisms and then the fifth one is kind of a, a hybrid so uh, these are pretty standard pretty common recognized mechanisms so we have your solution gas drive mechanism we have the gas cap your water drive your gravity drainage and then there's you know in reality there's always a combination of, of one of or two of these at least two of these mechanisms and it's just more of a, a function of you know which one contributes the most to to your recovery here's a good table that kind of shows your, your drive mechanism and your general energy source and then just a very generalized average recovery factor um, and th this is for for oil wells but gas wells are you know fairly similar gas wells obviously don't have a, a solution gas drive or gas cap, they're, they're more kind of just expansion drives. Yeah, yeah, I, it, you know, any kind of cushion gas, you know, if, if it's a different composition than, you know, whatever your reservoir or your storage gas is. Yeah, methane injection would, uh, so this, this table is more for oil. That would be, that would probably actually be more of a secondary recovery method, because um, you're you're using your gas to kind of boost up your your recovery. So, yeah, so that that wouldn't be a, a primary drive mechanism. That would be that'd be within the secondary recovery. And now, kind of the distinction there. Is, so secondary recovery is gas cap would be if you're actual in your reservoir, kind of like we talked about last night with, with our oil rim. So you're in an anticlinal structure and you're actually, you, you have a gas. Uh, See, so there's, a, there's a contact. Here. Let me just draw it real quick. So we have an anticline, like a dome structure. So here's kind of your, your rock structure. So then you know, this would be kind of your, your water level. This would be your oil. So we have water, oil, and gas. And so the gas expansion, so you, then you the gas cap drive, you usually drill your wells into the side here. And I think we actually have some drawings that are much better than my, my chicken scratch, but this is the general concept is a, so you, you drill your, your wells into this oil cap, and then as 
your as you draw your pressure down, your gas cap actually expands and kind of pushes your oil into your into your wells. Thank you.